This is the Lucky Tackle Box Tournament Series for October. Um, female Anglers Kickoff. This is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month box. You got your Give the Gift of Fishing Tournament Series box. This is the What's in the Box card. First off, you got the Boom Boom Frog by Stanford Bates. This is a cool color. There's a bunch of cool info on this frog I'll tell you in just a little bit, but it's a good bait. Next up is a cool bait called the Savage Gear 3D Bat. It's a lot like the Pompadour, and I think um, Duo Realis makes something similar. It uh, puts off a lot of commotion. Very, very cool bait. Next up is Bama Baits. This little stick baits are, uh, oh, actually they're finesse, finesse baits, little shaky head baits. We got smart baits, color changing, glow bait, it's a little pink bait for uh, breast cancer. That's pretty cool. Next up is Zoom. Pumpkin Chartreuse 6 inch Lizard. Next up is 4 inch Cabin Creek Lizard. Bass Crasher. It's like little swim baits we've got in the past, I think. Cool sticker says I donated. I'm in support of breast cancer awareness. Donated at luckytacklebox.com. Some 4 alt Big Mouth Hooks 3 pack. Little mid depth diving crankbait, probably 8 to 12 foot. It's a huge jerk bait that's only got two hooks. God, it's a monster. It's almost like saltwater. Real tree. I guess they're making fishing lures now, too. That's the thing to do. Fishing is exploding right now. Looks like a little beaver bait. Next up is trash. Backstabber square, square bill. This is one of the coolest little square bills that I've seen out. It's the only one that's kind of different. I guess the hollow bodied one's different, but this one's got the hook on top. Next up is the Lunker Hunt Walking Frog, I think is what it's called, but these help you be able to walk the dog better. We'll open it up and talk about it. First up is the bait rigs mid-depth diving crankbait it's got little dimples on it kind of like a golf ball probably displaces water looks like gills i'm gonna throw this on anywhere from 8 to 14 pound test line for me um this is a good depth a lot of people don't fish this depth very much they either throw square bills or they're fishing really deep water i said that in another video but it's a cool bait. I, it'll catch fish. I like the depth. I like the different, um, the different look of the body. It's got a real fat belly. Probably has different wobble than most of the other baits. But yeah, this is this is a pretty cool crankbait. I'll be throwing that. Next up is the Boom Boom Frog by Stanford Baits. Nice hooks. Nobody ever talks about the eye on the belly of this. I think it's so underrated the fact that it has that it looks like a sunfish and a frog i mean it's super super cool bait the newest and greatest out about this frog is the fact that it has velcro on top and what the velcro is for is it helps it get hung up with the fish's teeth it's not going to give you you know a minute where you can reel them in with it but if it helps them from spitting the bait so fast or shaking it then it'll help you get the hook set in it i throw this anywhere from 50 to 65 pound test braid on a seven foot to seven six heavier extra heavy flipping frog rod these are outstanding frogs if you haven't tried them yet up next is the savage gear 3d bat this is a lot like the pompadour it'll 
walk on top water and the legs open and it displaces water and makes it walk kind of funky. I know a lot of people probably say that bats don't get on water, but it's just a commotion that it makes. It's just a cool picture. It's got a feathered um, trailer hook. It's got some kind of, I don't know, it almost feels like a weed guard or something on it, but hold on, there's a bus. This thing has some sticky sharp hooks and good rattles. I would throw this on 20 pound mono or I don't know, 40 to 50 pound braid. I like braid a lot. Just this is what I like. And with these, you can snap the reel handles and reel it straight retrieve or a little twitch of the rod tip just to give it a little different action. And I know they look noisy and funky, but they get bit flat out. This is another bait by bait rigs, I guess. Um, so like I said before, it's a huge jerk bait. Normally, jerk baits these sides will have three treble hooks, but you know, sometimes the more hooks are not the better. This is a very large jerk bait. You probably, from what I was reading on, you can kind of walk it on top water to keep your rod tip up, make it spit and roll and stuff. I like the color. It's a you know natural um, bait fish color with a black back. But like I said, you can hold your rod tip up, make it kind of walk on top straight retrieve it back down they say it has a nice wobble or you can twitch it like a jerk bait either way i mean you should get you should be able to get bit if not take it to salt water you'll definitely get bit there next up is the lunker hunt kraken walking frog this color is called canary it's got a real good bluegill or perch kind of pattern to it good rattles um you throw this on 10 to 15 pound test mono small diameter braid only bad thing about braid is sometimes you get your the, the line will get tangled in the hooks but i still would probably use 30 or 40 pound braid but these are really easy to walk for people that aren't good at walking baits you can pretty much walk this with just your real handle um this is i'm in georgia so I definitely can throw top water for another two months, I would say. <coughs> then it gets colder. A lot of people stop throwing it, but I keep, I throw top water all year long. They they eat it pretty much all year long here, so I'm gonna keep throwing it. This is a square bill by Backstabber. I seen these a few months back in the regular boxes. They got kind of like a I guess a one knock deep uh, deep knocking sound, but these are pretty cool. That's a cool concept, you know, your bait, it runs nose down, so it's a lot less likely to get snagged with that bottom trailer hook on top. And if you get uh, fish that are hitting it, hitting at it from a, on top of the, uh, fish are diving down to hit it, then you got a lot more uh, likeliness of hooking them. I don't know why I just went brain dead and couldn't talk, but these are very cool concepts like i said the bait runs this way so this hook normally is out of the way on the back anyways and this puts the back hook out so cool concept i'm i'm interested in trying this out it's a really good bait fish color too for, for sunny days and throw this on a little light bait casting setup anywhere from 10 to 15 pound fluoro or, or yeah fluoro or mono depending on what you prefer and Throw it around structure and be ready to get smashed. These, these are awesome. Next up is a beaver bait by Realtree. The color is Tequila Sunrise. It's got a lighter colored belly. A lot of people don't realize it, but I'm gonna put the darker color at the top. The lighter color is normally the belly. If you look at most animals, that's how they are. The deeper hook slots at the top, and it's got a pretty deep hook slot that way you don't have to go through the full length of the plastic and I mean this should get bit just open up the appendages use it as a jig trailer or throw it on a wobble head it's got some weird little I don't know what you call them notches on the appendages they may help displace water but 
they're pretty scented too. I think with anise or anise, I don't know how you say it. it smells like licorice. Next up is these little finesse worms by Bama Bates. It's just your standard trick worm. Shaky head, wacky rigged, drop shot. Any way you fish a standard trick worm, you can fish this the same way. Next up is the gifted grub by Smart Baits. It's a little grub bait. Supposedly it glows in the dark or glows underwater. I mean, all grubs get bit. Bass, crappy, pike, musky. I've heard anything will eat this. So don't hesitate to put this on a little ball head or micro chatter bait, little spinner bait, trailer, micro jig trailers, anything. I mean, these are going to get bit. <coughs> Next up is the 4 inch Cabin Creek lizard in a smoke color it's clear with black flake it almost smells like grape or soda or something it's, it's got a cool smell it's angled at the top so you know which side is the top you got your two eyes up here and then the bottom is fairly flat it probably makes it kick a little water too may make it run a little different but these would be cool finesse drop shots any any real finesse presentation, these little four inches are good. Next up is a Zoom six inch lizard. My color is a pumpkin chartreuse, which is probably the best lizard color out. Um, these get smashed, I mean, no, no other way around it. You're gonna catch fish. Where I was saying throw a drop shot on the other one, I would throw this more on a Carolina rig versus the drop shot, but you could do a smaller Carolina rig with the four inch cabin creek and this one you could do the power shot where you do heavier weight bigger hook just to get deeper but I like throwing these on beds or throwing them up shallow with a really light weight and slowly let them flutter down they get bit I mean there's no doubt about that you're gonna get plenty of bites on these Texas rig weightless or with weights I would say unpeg them unless you're going with a real light if you go with a lightweight you can peg it it'll help it f go down in water but if you're going heavier weight and you're trying to fish them deeper unpeg them they'll have a natu more natural fall next up are these little boot tails by bass crasher i got some before they had a reddish tint and then they were green on the outside it's almost like they had a green laminate on top of the the red but these are awesome they got really thin backside so they should kick off a lot of action it's not going to take much movement to get the the boot tail to start working you can use these on underspins just a little ball head jig right now dip the tail chartreuse i mean there's baby bluegill baby shad all over the place so you shouldn't have a problem getting bit on something like this i think it's probably two and a half three inches a little one eighth ounce ball head or like I said, an underspin. You can put on chatterbaits, swim jigs, anything like that. You're, you're definitely gonna get bites. This actually would be a really good swim jig trailer because the tail would kick off so much and the body's not super long. So just try it out, see what options you like. Next up are the four alt three pack big mouth hook. It says that they're 399. Mustache got some expensive hooks, but these are good for your Carolina rig, like I was saying earlier, or any Texas rigs. Just half ounce weight Texas rig, ready to go. Again, it's the October Tournament Series box for Lucky Tackle Box. Check them out if you haven't. They have codes and discounts and all kind of fun stuff. Give them a try.